my beautiful, gorgeous chickens with only four days left before the exam. I know many of you are working really hard to clean up those tiny little existing math knowledge gaps that you may have before the exam. And for many of my students, their distance formula could be one of those, especially when it comes to word problems. So we're going to solve two word problems that require you to know how to calculate distance, that require you to know a lot about rates, and we'll solve them together. I want you to pause every time you see a problem and on pause when you are finished with your answer. We'll solve it together. My name is Katya Severson. I'm the inventor of the Severson Method, a scientifically proven way to learn anything fast. And I will absolutely make sure that you know how to do these word problems that have to do with the distance. Um, I'm going to show you the problem and then pause. All right, I'm going to launch into a bit of an explanation about distance formula. So if you have seen my explainer video, the basics, you remember that I said when you're reading a word problem, you want to be always differentiating or asking yourself, Ooh, is this a value or is this a rate? Is this a value or is this a rate? Right now, I'm going to help you understand the difference between the value and the rate. A rate is like miles per hour. Your car can go as fast as 70 miles per hour. A rate is always going to have a unit that is a fraction. So the way I like to explain it is this. Distance is equal to rate. And right next to the rate, we draw a little fridge times time. Why the fridge, you may ask? Exactly because the units, there's going to be something on the top and then something on the bottom. Another thing I like to do is I want to remind my students that, move my face, that the rate that is in the numerator the unit that is in the numerator of the rate is going to be the unit for the distance. And then the rate that's in the denominator for the rate is going to be the unit for the time. So let me give you an example. Let's say we have a rate in kilometers per second. Guess what? The time will have to be in seconds and the distance will have to be in kilometers. If we had a rate of inches per gallon, inches per gallon. First of all, we wouldn't be dealing with time because we would be dealing with gallons. And then the distance would be in inches. Let's say you're, you're doing like a rate problem with um, how, many, how many inches of the wall you can cover with a certain amount of paint. So this is like a little trick for you for the rates. In this word problem, you were given three values, and those three values allowed you to come up with a rate. Nate walks 25 meters in 13.7 seconds. Guess what? This information is sufficient for you to actually come up with Nate's rate. D is equal to 25 over 13.7 fridge inside of the fridge we say meters per second now tell me what unit should the time be in if you said seconds you're absolutely right time should have been in seconds they're asking you about four minutes how many seconds are in four minutes 60 times 4, 240. So we multiply by 240. What you can see is that 25 is approximately two times greater than 13.7. Because if we were to divide 25 by 2, we would have gotten 12.5. So this together, without really overcomplicating things, it's going to be 2 and a little bit less than two because 13 um, times two is 26. So I'm thinking it's approximately two 
and approximately 2 times 240 is going to be something around 450. Easy breezy. This is how you can calculate your distance. I hope you guys are ready for the next problem. Feel free to grab your best friend, the calculator. Pause the video. Let's go. So George took a non-stop flight to Dallas, from Dallas to Los Angeles. Irrelevant. The total flight distance is 1,233. So they gave you a value. They gave you a distance. The plane flew at a speed, so they give, they give you a speed, and that's miles per hour. That's your rate for the first 75 minutes. That's a time. Hmm. And then at the speed of 439 miles, 39 miles an hour, slow down a little bit, for the remainder of the flight. The remainder of the flight, so they're keeping it a mystery for how many minutes. To the nearest minute, for how many minutes, did the flame, did the flame, did the plane fly at the speed of 439 miles per hour? Easy. Let's write down DRT, distance. The total distance is 1,233 miles. In our example, um, this distance is going to be a sum of two other distances. The first distance is going to be for 75 minutes uh, at 460 miles per hour. So let's represent that. That equals to the first distance plus the second distance. Um, and then we know that the distance could be estimated as rate times time. So we say 460, little fridge. Inside of the fridge, we say miles per hour, and then here, 75 is given to us in seconds. Well, no problem, because we know that the time is going to be in hours. We can just quickly convert 75 divided by 60 gives us 1.25. That is 75 minutes in hours times 1.25 hours. This is a bad five, but you guys believe me plus 439, as I'm writing six, 439. Again, fridge, again, miles, again, hour, times X, because that's what we're trying to find out. Okay, now let's do 1.25 times 460. This here gives us 575 miles because hours and hours they cancel out so this gives us 575 miles can we now calculate the total number of miles this distance was absolutely we take 1233 subtract 575 and we get 658 six 58. Now it turns into a tiny little equation where we have 658 miles equals to 439 miles per hour times x. Any ideas how we can find x? I got some. We can divide both sides by 439. Let's divide 658 by 439, and we get 1.498. So approximately, approximately how many minutes? So this is in hours. Your x, the x that you found, that's in hours. So we have 1.4988. So what I do is I multiply this by 60 to convert it back into minutes. And this gives me 89.93, I don't know if you guys can see, that's the number. And I think we can round it up to 19, to the nearest hour by the plane at the speed, yeah, to, to the nearest minute. So it's gonna be 19, 19 is your answer. I hope you found this video helpful. There are a lot of difficulties with 
distance and rate and time, but I hope this French trick helped you understand a little bit better when something is multiplied. Should you be changing your units or not? Some of you may say, well, Kati, why, why were you changing into an hour? Because you were asked for something in minutes. You could should have stayed in minutes, but um, that's something you could do, but then you will have to convert 460 miles per hour into 460 miles oh, into that rate per minute. And that, um, for me, uh, requires a little bit of thinking, but that could also be done. Uh, no problem. So um, my way is not the only way. I'm just translating something that I find helpful for myself and for my private clients. I'll see you guys in the next video where we talk about distance, but between two points on the coordinate plane. Bye.